Hello everyone, it's old Guardian here. Well, Warrior got nerfed hard. I mean, Tidal Revenant, gain only 5 armor, Nelly's Pirate Chip, Pirates cost 1 less instead of 1, Shield Shatter down from 5 damage to 4 damage, from the depths from 3 mana to 4 mana, or nerfs to Warrior. And now looking at HS Reply statistics, Warrior decks that were like doing 56% win rates previously are now down to around 46%. So, what is Warrior to do? But then again, the Control Warrior deck that I built for the mini set was a little bit different than other Control Warrior decks. And I actually took the same deck that I built earlier out for a spin on the ladder, and I still had a good time with it. Still won the majority of my games, so is Warrior dead, or is just one specific style of Warrior dead? That's another question. Because my deck was never about From the Depths, it was never about those Tembo swings, it was never really about Nelly. It was more like Overlord Saurfang, with the Stonewall Anchorman, with Crash, giving armor, giving some rush minions, giving card draw, smothering starfish, silence deck, not very common in Warrior, and also about putting in more value, with for example stuff like Neptune and the Tide Hunter. And this approach to the game still seems to work reasonably well. I'm not sure what will happen overall as the meta starts to stabilize, but for the time being, if you're looking to play Warrior, I just wanted to let you know that this kind of Warrior deck still seems playable, and this is what it looks like in action. Here we go, we keep the Lava Culture, I guess. So, Hunters, there's Beast Hunters, there's some of those a little bit more aggressive Beast Hunters. Beast Hunter was already good against Warrior, wasn't it? I think it was. Already, like, before Warrior was nerfed. Because Beast Hunter can put on some good pressure. K9 Otron. Okay. Well, they have they have four one drops in that deck. That is the more aggressive Beast Hunter list. So K9 Otron there is usually just yeah, it can be a platform for some buffs and stuff, but. Not really meant to be used. Not really meant to be used as a summoning tool. Maybe I am too slow. It's possible. My well, next one I have the lava gorger. Alright, double doggy biscuits. Not bad, not bad. Some pretty big minions. They would survive even the pre-nerf. In the pre nerf field shutter. Well, these are interesting cards. Maybe I can handle this with Crash. Yep, that will be enough. Let the Lord of Turtling guide me. Ramming mount is very annoying, though. Means I will have to kill that, right? I believe that's what it means. Actually, can't buckler now. I know buckler next turn. Well, I'm gonna then coming out there. Let's see Moonwall attacking anyway. I'll take a hit over there. Alright, let's see. Hi, Kazray. Which of the new mercs are you aiming to max first? I never max any mercs. I don't do that kind of grinding at all because I don't find it I don't find it I don't find it satisfying. So I don't do that. I just refuse to participate in that sort of gameplay at all. Now we need the buckler. I think we do need the buckler here. I mean, I can clear the whole board by Drake first and then Shatter. I suppose that's how we roll. We'll Drake that. And then they get the Death Rattle minion. And then I will Shatter. So there will be nothing left on this board. Okay. That hopefully buys me enough time, then I can get Crash going and stuff. I'll be able to start stabilizing. 
There was my smothering stuff here as well. A little late to the party. But okay, I'm still at 20. I have a crash on the board. Crash is almost guaranteed to get the frenzy effect off. So... This shouldn't be too bad, right? I could silence this if I want, but I don't. I'll just go with the axe and crash and this. Yeah, so crash goes in first. I will get the draw with the axe. And we'll use the axe, get the draw. I believe this is still fine. I don't want to trade this or get the armor. No, I just hero power here. I believe I'm still fine. I'm at 25 health here. Doesn't look too bad at all. And we'll get to summon that. But now I guess we will use the smothering starfish. Right. Because there's a whole bunch of death rattles going on here. I have other alternatives. I don't get a very good way to clean all of this up though. A six man after the starfish. I think I still need the starfish now. I might trade the heavy plate. I feel I have enough health. I want to kill this one now. I guess I might as well. We kill that one now. But they have another revive pet, so they have some mountain bears in the pool. Terra looks interesting in holy comps. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, some rush stuff. But I'm fine with the rush stuff, right? Bit of click clocking. So, so many alternatives here. I think I could go with the Tidal Revenant. I think that's perfectly acceptable right now. Let's Revenant the 4 4 away. And I will. Do they have buffs left? They used both Doggy Biscuits and they used both Ramming Mounts. They don't have any buffs left. I might as well kill that one now. Armor up a little bit. Go to 19. I mean, they have a King Crush in that deck. So that gives them a little bit of reach. But at 19, it's not that bad. Not a very good one to pick up, of course. They don't get the Battle Cry effect. So it's all good. No battle cries for you. So then... I suppose we're killing the Hydralodon. I'll bring in Neptulon. Neptulon kills that one. That one kills that one, and I will still have to kill the Hydra Loden heads there. Because... If I don't, then there would have been like a King Crush out. I don't want to give them a King Crush out. That was an excellent top deck. That was one excellent top deck, I have to say. Wow. I mean, Freezing Trap. Freezing Trap on the Neptulon. But I can also freeze a hand. They should not be impossible anyway. No worries, no worries. I have one Leaf Flower. Alright, so I want to freeze a hand here. 
I actually want to freeze the tidal revenant, right? If there's a freezing trap. What if there's like emergency maneuvers, snakes? So ice trap or explosives? Probably explosives. These are immune while attacking. Well, one of them will die. Then I want to do a bit of heavy plating here, I think. I could have handled that better. That was not ideal. Will I lose because of that? Unlikely. Possible, but unlikely. Ran out of time there a little. That doesn't do anything. They're now just dead. It's still easily enough. It's easily enough. No worries whatsoever. I'll just kill them with the crush. And spunk that crushed their dome. Yeah, so... Yeah. And it was actually pretty easy. I didn't even... Didn't even have to think that much. Let's see what... I really don't know if I have the value to be the big spell mage or not. We're about to find out. I need to get rid of the coin by turn 6. So they can't... So that they cannot exchange... <laughs> exchange one of their spells. Zero cost. And give me a 10 cost coin. Well, now that will be easy, because I am definitely coining out the axe next turn. I need to get rid of this far watch post here. Yeah, it's a big spell mage. The ba just the basic, basic comp. Not? It's not a big spell mage at all. Okay. Some new kind of mech mage, then. That's intriguing. Well, we are going to axe that one down. I haven't seen a mech mage running that card yet. Fascinating. I'm sorry, Naga Face Hunter. I haven't seen any Naga Face Hunters anywhere. Like Beast Hunters with that Naga opener, sure, but Naga Face Hunters, nothing even resembling that. Okay, Lava Gorging time. I guess we'll pick the Sour Fang. We get the most armor this turn. Seven cards in hand. We'll kill that to draw another. Alright. Well, those are rather weak. More Lava Gorchers, eh? Nine cards in hand. My problem here is that my hand is filling up. I can't do particularly interesting stuff with the max yet. So I am still able to use this moment to play this one. Trade there. This one can kill that one. Nine cards in hand. Okay, yeah, I can't kill one of those to draw. Or I will overdraw. Okay, they're getting ready to do their Mickey Mech stuff. Alternatively, they could have the Colossal, against which mechs are a little annoying. Think cards in hand, hand is full again. 
And just bring on your Colossal if you have it. I don't mind. Cards in hand. They can't kill Crash without activating the Frenzy. So I have a lot of health here to play with. <laughs> Brawl. Well, but that will kill Crash. Should be a little sad. It's time to get rid of some of these. It is time to get rid of some of these. I mean, I guess I could do the Buckler Shield Shatter. This then might be fine for that. Let's just do that one now. Just kill those now with this. Get that Lava Gorger on the board. Grab the Captain Galvangar. Hit some face. Seven cards in hand. Comfortable amount of health. Losing five next turn, of course, but it's still not too bad. I think I, I should have a hit with the Outrider Sacks. Because Crash is potentially going to die now. That could happen. But I can just let that happen. Just kill off the crash over there. And then I can do get Sour Fang. And then we just bring Crash right back. Together with the Together with the Anchorman. I will have eight cards in hand. The Anchorman kills this one, then I will kill that one. Eight cards in hand, and I'm feeling fairly comfortable here. 48 health, eight cards in hand. I know they have their. I know they have their Mecha Shocks left, but I know they have their Gaia. Now they actually have two Gaias. Which is slightly annoying. Because that was a random Gaia. But a little bit of random Gaia's hero there. Makes little difference. Might as well use the Tidal Revenant now because it's pretty tricky to use. Do I want to kill off my Crash? And it's not even killed off. It's just fine. Yeah, Crash can hit there. I can also keep Crash a little bit more healthy because of those Mecha Shark plays. They take the damage from Gaia myself now. Which I suppose is also acceptable. We can do that one too. There goes that one. And Does Crash even want to kill the Deeper Engineer? There's no particular reason for me to even kill that. I just hit face a bit. I mean... Maybe they have something if they have enough Mecha Sharks. But I think it's getting pretty hard for them to have enough. Like, I have so much health everywhere. One of those Mecha Sharks was random, so there's still at least one Mecha Shark and one Gaia left. At least. But I just don't see how it could be enough anyway. I have so many ways to answer this. I could brawl this board. Brawl looks fine. I'll just brawl that. That was great Bosonixia solution to it as well, and just so many ways. Small minion. We'll put this on the board, so we have some held on the board. It seems fine. So one native Mega Shark, one native Gaia left. 
All right, they, so they have a total of three Gaias in this game. Or maybe even more. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. So I have a lot of solutions here. Once again. Neptulon puts a lot of fun pressure on this. Because then they really need to have Mega Shark or Gaia to answer the Neptulon. Or they will just die. So I think we're going to for, going for the Neptulon answer here. Instead of the Raid Boss. Raid Boss Onyx is better against the White Board anyway. Oh, Neptulon is just going to kill these two. And I get to hit a little bit of face here. And I don't think this Mech Mage will have the tools. They need another Gaia or they need another Mecha Shark here. Uh, Goliath. Hmm, maybe that will do it. But will it really? It cuts in hand. I could just shield slam that and slam Nelly out there. Can't can't quite set up lethal here. I mean, so many alternatives again. I think I'll just shield slam that one and I'll play the Nelly. The pirates now, of course, they will only cost one less instead of only one. But they're a little weaker. But it's fine. I still pick up Mr. Smite here. Why not a freebooter too? I mean, essentially the mage doesn't have a chance. Uh, charge phase, hit phase puts them down to 9. Alex Traza is only 8. If they clear the board, they get taunts. I can't hit with the weapon. It does not deal 9. So no, it would not have been a lethal setup. Mm, so 6, 7, 8. 11, 15. Not quite lethal this one either, but I guess we'll just go for it. I mean, this will set up for guaranteed lethal for next turn. So... Largely a meaningless exercise regardless. And I still had tons and tons and tons of value in hand. I was a little bit concerned about that. Naga Priest was favored against Warrior already before the nerfs. Now we get to see. Now we get to see this really in action. Right. Time for a test. Nochai Cleric? Mm -hmm. Does Naga Priest run Nochai Cleric? I don't remember. What if it's Boar's? Can I beat Boar Priest? I might not be able to. Hmm. Well, that's a little concerning, isn't it? Boar Priest, the 40% win rate deck, but... Nah, it is Nagas. Alright, alright. Just the usual Naga stuff. No worries then. But now I cannot kill this Nochai Cleric. I have needed a Shield Slam. Do I need Shield Slam so desperately? I think I will try with this, but we'll see what happens. Video ID, best PV bounties to farm coins. I mean, I already made a video about best best bounties to farm coins. For all the new mercs. That video already exists. I mean, they don't have AoE healing, do they? At 
didn't think they did. At this point I can kill all of those. But I can trade this heavy plate. They can have a lot of Nagas coming though. But I will still have a brawl. We're just going for this one now. Alright. Ira? Really? That was a surprise. A very pleasant surprise either. Oh, that one's going to be a really good card. A little later. We'll kill off the Lyra first. Well, we found our tech card. So, so far, no worries. I would just want to find stuff for Sour Fang. Give me my... Give me my Anchorman. Give me my Crash. Well, there's the Anchorman. I could also become Rokara. And kill this now. And this could kill that one. Or I can use Anchorman to kill this, and this can trade there. It's fine. It's fine, we'll do it like this. I'm at 46, so it's not like they can kill me with this anyway. Hi, Meyer. I have a Brawl. I have a Smothering Starfish. I born to die. Once this one dies, I will have one of those in the Sour Fang. I have a Tidal Revenant ready to go next turn if needed. I have a lot of options here. I can just use the Tidal Revenant now. I don't remember this one. I can kill that one. And then I'm at 51. Sure, you will have Nagas. And you will have Wigs. But will there be enough of those? Right? The Wig army arrives. I see. Yeah. That just that just don't impress me much. Some of those are pretty big. Let's see what wins the brawl. I still have the starfish if I really get desperate. I don't feel desperate about that one. Yeah, like... They just don't have the tools. The queen's trove is forbidden. The queen's trove, eh? It is finished. You win. Well, yeah, they didn't really stand much of a chance. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, 
please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.